Hi, I'm Anna Somerset, partner at Varghese Somerset Law Firm, and today we're going to talk about obstruction of a highway and why we see it most often as the reduced offense for DWIs. Obstruction of a highway is an offense that occurs whenever your vehicle or your person obstructs another from moving through a main thoroughfare or passageway, or you refuse a reasonable request to move. The reason why we often see obstruction of a highway as a reduced version, and I'm using that term loosely, of DWI, is that it's not an intoxication-related offense meaning it doesn't have an intoxication element to it. And because of that, it avoids several of the disadvantages that DWIs have. However, it is the same level offense as a first DWI or a first offense for DWI, and that's a class B misdemeanor. Now, obstruction of a highway has a slightly different punishment range because it doesn't have a minimum days in jail unless you are on probation type of punishment the way DWIs do. Obstruction of a highway starts at zero days in jail and goes up to 180 potential days and up to a $2,000 fine. However, it's also probation eligible, whether that's deferred adjudication, which is a special type of probation that if you complete your case is dismissed or straight probation which is a conviction. Now obstruction of a highway with a deferred adjudication is something that you could potentially have non-disclosed from your record. A non-disclosure means that the offense would be removed from your record for all purposes but for law enforcement and certain state agencies that would keep it on file in case you were to ever re-offend. The bonus for obstruction of a highway is not only avoiding a DWI conviction and having the potential to have your record record non-disclosed, it's also to avoid a Texas DPS super fine. You've heard about those surcharges in the past, which are now called super fines. And if you were to receive a jail time offer or punishment in a DWI, you could end up owing thousands of dollars to Texas DPS. Because obstruction of a highway is not a DWI or intoxication related offense, it doesn't come with any such super fine. It also doesn't come with the stigma that we often see in these types of cases for those individuals who drive for a living, that being a commercial driver or commercial driver's license, or those who drive company vehicles or for private services like Uber or Lyft and the such. When it comes to obstruction of a highway as a reduced charge for DWI, most attorneys would encourage you to accept that offer as opposed to go to trial for a DWI. And here's why. In a trial before a jury, you simply never know what a jury's gonna do. You may lose cases you should win. You may win cases you should lose. That's because the people who are sitting in that box are variable on any given day that a jury is selected. You don't know them before they walk in and you barely know them when they walk out. So when you have to consider risk versus reward, which is ultimately a, your call, it's a decision you have to make, you have to consider an obstruction of a highway as a reasonable offer to avoid the risk of a DWI conviction at trial. We have certainly had it both ways here at Varghese Somerset where clients have rejected an obstruction of a highway offer in favor of going to trial. We have also had clients happily accept that offer to avoid the risk of going to trial. The decision is ultimately up to you, but if you get an obstruction of a highway offer, you should strongly consider it. The outcome is far better than potentially losing at trial or any other type of DWI conviction. Hope that helps. Again, my name is Anna Somerset. I'm one of the partners here at Varghese Somerset Law Firm. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post them below and we'll try to get to them as quickly as we can. Otherwise, feel free to visit us at versustexas.com. Thanks for watching.